Hello and welcome to That's Why We Have Hot Dogs in the Freezer. Today we are making deviled eggs. Everybody has a recipe for deviled eggs and I'm not claiming mine is the de facto this is the recipe for deviled eggs. This is just the way I do it and I don't always do it this way. So it's one of those things where <laughs> you can do it the way you want. This is me. So I've already cut most of my eggs. This is one more. I'm going to just cut it in half. And I'm going to put the yolks in this here bowl. I like this metal bowl because I can do deviled eggs and make noise, which is what we're going to do. So I've got my eggs there. These out of the way for a minute. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one spoonful of mayo. You want to go light. Whatever you put in here, don't go crazy. You can always add more. You can't take it out. And that can change your consistency. So now it's a little bit of a, the traditional yellow mustard. And then just for fun, I have some sweet relish. Careful with this one too. Don't get crazy. And just a, since the sweet relish is probably not sweet enough, just a little sugar. It kind of reacts with the egg yolks and helps break them up too. And we're going to take this. And basically, you want to whip the crap out of it. Consistency. You don't want it runny. You don't want it runny at all. That is almost right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it just a little bit more mustard, whip it again, and then we'll go to the next step. Scoop it down. Now normally, I'll make 36 of these. So, you know, get an 18 pack of eggs, do them up in the instant pot, cut them in half, and just sit here and make eggs. Today, I'm just making these little few we got here. So here I have an inexpensive freezer bag. You use these a lot for things other than freezer bagging. I'm going to very, very gently cut just the tip off of that bag. There's just the tip. And then I'm going to take a pastry tip. Yeah, I have these in my cupboard. I'm going to just take the white part. Open this up. Get down and find that corner. And just kind of push on it until it pops through. Put the tip back on. Put the retainer ring on top of that. Over top of the bag. To kind of help fold it in. And fold this back a little bit. Now, if I'm doing a lot, one trick I will tell you is uh, I will take like a milk, a glass, like a big glass or even a jar, and just shove this down in it to hold it for me. But I don't need to do that here because I don't have that much of it. I'm not filling the whole bag. So, we've got that. We want to work it down and 
twist the bag. Just twist it. And then we're going to take it and pipe the filling into our eggs. Just like that. And if you don't overfill them, since you use the eggs, the yolks from the eggs that you just made, you should have just enough to fill the eggs. And usually I end up with about that much left. So I'll come back over and just kind of give them each a little more goodness. Kind of decorate the top a little bit. And then with what's left, you can make what I like to call a coronary sandwich, which is basically egg yolk and bread. So let's just give one of these a shot. And that's the proper way to eat a deviled egg, by the way, all at once. Kind of like sushi. Mm -hmm. not, not too bad. All right, so hope you liked this episode. That was that's why we have hot dogs in the freezer, and this has been deviled eggs. So if you did like the video, please like and subscribe by hitting my little face, and we'll see you next time. Bye.